Just by firing a single battle. That's easy. And this. Okay, so let's take the Wooster. Let's give it a try. Well, I will. I'll upload it to YouTube, but you know that—that's as far as it goes. I already, I already said my concerns, like the majority of other CCs. But you know, if Wargaming doesn't see a problem somewhere, it's not gonna get changed. We can scream and yell all we want. Like I said it before, I don't have a problem with the radar in its core. I'm fine with it, you know. There was too much of a smoke camp meta going for far too long and it needed fixing. I agree. And radars, when they were introduced, they were like, oh, 20 second radar, okay. But then they'd start and be 30, 35 second radar. Then they introduced the special modules. Then that started being 40, 50, almost 60 second radar. That's insane. Now they're going even above it. They keep buffing these things. They keep adding it to everything they can. Why? Why? It's not the DDs that are a problem for a long time now. Ever since the beginning of this game. They kept putting more and more things into the game. That are just crucially making it harder for destroyer players. What they need to do is cut the range by at least 10% on the battleships. Cut their main battery range. Stop printing out ships that have 26, 24, 23, 25 km bloody range. Seriously. 21, 22 km maximum. Top long range. Longest, biggest, badass range. 22, no more. That will force them to be a bit closer to their cruisers. And their cruisers are gonna be closer to their destroyers, and those destroyers are gonna have a proper backup. And you don't need so huge and long radars because everything is gonna be happening a bit closer. Ah, uh, let's see. Double Des Moines, Mino, Cleveland. I'm gonna see like one, two, three, possibly four, five. Like you know that before when I was playing. Um, every every game, every game that I play, if it if it has even remote, even if it remotely has to do with anything, uh, with a smoke like destroyer or cruiser with smoke screen or something like that, I would just check for uh, for radars. And I would be like, okay, there's no radar, there's one, there's two, there's three. Five! Th two to five radars every game now. And there's not even that many Clevelands. There's just one Cleveland. Missouri is one, double Des Moines, Cleveland, and then I don't, I don't suspect this guy has a radar, but you never know. Especially considering he's playing with a Des Moines. But there's, a, there's always a crazy possibility that he did it. So yeah, look at this, I'm spot. I could just squeeze the radar and start being a huge massive pain in the butt for whoever. But that someone also got detected. What is this guy gonna do? Tell me, what is he gonna do now? There goes a third of his HP. He only has one, ch one uh, choice. Smoke up. That's the only chance he's got. Boom! 56 seconds. Good luck, Mr. Benson. Good luck. He's down to 7k. 6k. 5k. I ah, still have 38 seconds. It's not a problem. No problem. 3k. Uh, people will just continue shooting at him. 28 seconds to go. No big deal. Look at this. 
his smoke screen is going to expire. If that was a Russian or Japanese destroyer, his smoke screen would almost expire by the time my radar expires. And that's okay. That is insane. That is absolutely insane and not okay. I thought he was gonna give me broadside here. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. The ship is on fire. Enemy cruiser destroyed. And when my radar expires, I have two minutes of hydro to cover it. No big deal. No problem, comrade. Look, he survived. Radar needs buffalo. Yeah. Not to mention that that guy should be dead. And even if he's still alive, which he is... His game is completely wrecked. He's down to... He's a bottom tier destroyer that has 3,500 HP. Oh, come on. Main turret critically damaged. Well, suddenly too many battleships. Rip. Rip in pepperoni. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Oh, there he is. I'm pretty sure Shima should be able to take care of that. Oh, but it's a better idea to just smoke up and let him charge you than to kill a three and a half thousand HBDD. Ah. Ah. Oh, we're gonna heal one more time immediately. Concentrate fire to be able to withstand, withstand more than one citadel. And then we're just gonna throw ourselves in the, in the, into the fray one more time. That Zhao is not even... Oh my god, he doesn't even realize there's a DD right next to him. 
Well, let's finish this guy first. Where is this guy looking? Zumo next. Enemy destroyer detected. Uh, the only two ships that died is that Cleveland interprets. Jesus Christ. The Benson killed my Shima. Yeah. Of course. Enemy Hindenburg nerf, what, one second reload? Ah, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. If it was three seconds, I'd be like, yep, that's uh, that's pretty big. But one second, it's gonna lower its... It's gonna lower its uh, total damage by 15, 20, 30k. It's still gonna be a very powerful ship. If that's the only nerf that's happening. Fuck did I got hit from? The enemy team has taken the lead. This thing really 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 could use um buff to its turning circle but i mean considering how strong this ship and is no <laughs> probably not a good idea to keep buffing it but it would seriously benefit from just a bit tighter so you can turn 180 in between 30 second salvos Uh, Dream Flyber, uh, Flybun says, what about giving DDs MCON, which let nobody seize them, both friendly and enemy, but maybe Wargaming needs to reward them. Well, yeah, that's what I talked about. No, they're not interested in that. Oh no, wait, is, does he have AP loaded? Oh my god. I got lucky. Wow, I did not expect AP from him. Oh shit, he's gonna keep firing AP, okay. I dig that. HE would take me down in a second. 10km, look how much lead I have to take. Insane. Kind of a problem. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes dead ahead. 
Torpedoes, direct front. Well, that's a very, very poor performance by that Zell. Very poor performance. Seriously. And look who it is. It's my old friend. Good luck trying to get out of here alive, buddy. Okay, Missouri is not a problem. The points and the time might be the problem, and the fact I have no more HP. Not a problem. Might be, might be, might be. Not a problem, okay? <sighs> now we're gonna get out kept. 12 km out torpedoes coming up. Yeah, that's that's a brilliant idea. Just just wait. Just wait till that thing happens. We're going to have a whole another new episode of Za of Atago players. You know the Atago syndrome where everybody was just um, shooting torpedoes because you have torpedoes, you have so many of them, you have the range and the speed. Surely you're not a cruiser gunboat. You're just a DD boat. Torpedo boats. Yeah. Fletcher Torps on gearing. Well, a lot of people were complaining that the Fletcher has better torpedoes. That they would lug those torpedoes. I say fine, give them. You know, you lose 6 km range, but you get significant uh, buff to the, to the reload. Why not? If they prefer those, give them the option. Ugh, that's a problem. I was hoping that was gonna happen a few seconds later, but <sighs> yeah, we did what we could. 184,000 damage, three kills, we were fighting in the open, so just imagine when this thing gets a DD, smoke bot, companion in his division. Uh, oh, we're still taking the fire, nice. 1.7 million potential damage tank and this is a light cruiser now this thing is is like a minotaur maybe not exactly like the minotaur a bit stronger but 190k yeah and we lost with four to five difference i'm definitely gonna enjoy playing this ship with a division in a division with a destroyer that thing is gonna be... Whew. I mean, there's so many radars, but that's what I told you about. The radars are not only there to get into someone's face and face and risk being radar. You can just stay from the safe distance and do it. There we go. Ugh. No, the fur. No. 5 XP Lion. Great. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I just printed two episodes of best team I ever had in a row. Seems to me like I have a third one.